Welcome back to another sketchy watercolor artist video where I try to share with you my thought process through a painting and hopefully seeing another person go through the process, any process. Everyone has their own process, I think. You learn in schools of thought, but when you watch everybody out there, there there's major things that come up and I think you can see it in, in everybody's painting style but it's always a little bit unique so love to share mine maybe it'll help someone maybe it'll help me improve and I love to get feedback and see what people think about mine anyway this is a sort of a landscape subject nope it's definitely a landscape I'll call it a landscape Anyway, this is a lumber mill, an Amish run lumber mill. So it's got like a real old fashioned look to it, which I thought was is really, it's got a romantic quality in terms of painting, you know? Anyway, I, I've been starting out my paintings in watercolor and I especially wanted to start this one out with a really clear shadowy blue for what I knew was shadow, because in this scene, it's a picture I actually took myself with my cell phone, but I've been there, I was standing there looking at this scene, and the ground is really dark. It's darker than you might think it should be even, so I really wanted to start out with really, really brilliant lights and really, really cool shadow areas so that I could work through the painting from the sketch, which is definitely not perfect. But the way I'm imagining doing this, I did it at home from a photo, but the way I'm imagining having done this in person would be take a quick general sketch and then get at the colors while, while you can. So my process here is uh, an underlay of watercolor, which is where we're still at here. I'm still going over this with, with just watercolor and trying to get strong color relationships and, and value relationships set before I start working in gouache, which is my second step. <clears throat> I, I did move into that right here where I wanted to see use my watercolor underpainting as kind of a guide, a guide in both value and color, and try and really push it all towards, sketchy as it is, a more realistic rendering of what is there than, than I could re achieve with just the underpainting and watercolor. So I'm, I'm really searching for, you see me go back and forth a lot between light and dark. I am trying to slowly approach the correct values and, and, uh, and chroma of everything without pushing it too far such that I, I can't go back, you know? But it's really helpful to use gouache because you, you can lay down a thing and take it up completely if you want to, but the underpainting in watercolor is very helpful. And, and you can use the gouache itself as a watercolor media strictly speaking, like regular watercolor, not like something marketed as gouache, but you just add a whole lot of water to it. In this case, I did actually use um, specifically watercolor paint as the underpainting. And then this is all gouache. I'm going in with somewhat wet, but not, not out of the tube gouache. I want a lot of room to continue to build layers over top of it. But it, even as wet as it is, it still has a lot of room to go even more opaque, which, which I do continue to do throughout the painting. I, I chose to, it's a really cool lumber yard where there's this cool window to the background landscape of rolling hills. See, we're in upstate New York. The landscape, the horizon itself, is just like hill after hill after hill. Nothing is, is prettier than that. Anyway, I tried to use the scene I was looking at to play at 
a type of composition that you see regularly um, and is definitely commonly taught, but it's the, the window, the peephole type of composition where you have a relatively dark background and the painting itself focuses you towards the distance somewhere in the center through kind of a peephole. So you have this view into the world beyond and a lot of the foreground is relatively dark, even though it's very sunlit. So I did try to capture that. This particular lumber mill is mostly dirt. So it's Amish run and you have buggies going back and forth, cars going back and forth because they they pay what they call Englishers to work there. And it's mostly Englishers that, that buy from the lumber mill because it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying it from a store. Anyway, um, there's another artist that I've noticed on Instagram that does a lot of these kind of just outdoor scenes where they'll paint piles of wood or sections of a forest. I kind of wanted to do it myself, and I love this location because I, I got a bunch of lumber from this uh, lumber mill to build the chicken coop that I spent the last couple of weeks building. Anyway, key takeaways here in terms of doing this yourself is feel free to use gouache and watercolor as a sketching medium. Just wherever and whenever you want, paint any scene and, and try and build up that skill of building towards the finished product, seeking to highlight and emphasize the values that you see and the, and the colors. And then keep a personal sketchbook. It's awesome. Can't say anything better about it. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.